Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In this video, I am going to discuss about one more functional interface which was launched in JDK 1.8 that is Java dot util dot function dot binary operator. Basically, it is the sub interface of by function. It is the sub interface of by function. That means, whatever the features which we have in the by function that will coming to what here binary operator, but uh, there is a small point here is whenever we working with the bifunctional interface if you do not know about the bifunctional interface will you please go through my previous video I did a highlighting what is the use of the bifunctional interface after seeing that one come to this video. So, basically bifunction functional interface bifunction functional interface can allows any type of two inputs and performing any type of operation and giving what here different type of uh, output may be same input or different output for example, may be inputs are two integers and output is what here string, may be inputs are what here string the output is what here integer, may be input is what here string and integer may be output is what here string and may be inputs are what here boolean may be output is what here string. So, like this by function by function functional interface can able to allows any type of two operands and perform some operation and giving any type of operand as a output, but especially binary operator will allows will allows two same type of operands and performing some operations and giving same type operand as a result, same type operand as a result. So, this is what your sub sub interface of sub interface of by function. It will taking two inputs, it will taking two inputs required two inputs, two inputs okay, are same type giving one output, giving one output is same as is same as inputs is same as what here inputs. Now, observe here let me open bifunctional binary operator related documentation binary operator observe here it represent an operation upon two operands nothing but two input values of what type same type and producing a result of same type same type producing result as a same return type of operand. See basically observe here if you are writing by binary operator like uh, integer both the inputs are integer and output is also integer. If you are writing like a uh, string both the inputs are string and output is also string. If you are writing like a boolean both the inputs are boolean and output is also what you are boolean, but if you comes to the by functional inputs uh, type may be different or same and input types may be different from output type as well as vice versa. But if it comes to the binary operator our input should same as our input uh, inputs are should be same as well as output is also depend upon what your input type. So, let me do some work on top of this one binary operator let me write string and here I am writing like bo equal to bo equal to now here I am writing like here I am writing like input here input it will allows two inputs one is what string string s1 this is what your string s2 now here return s1 dot s1 dot 2 uppercase s1 dot 2 uppercase so let me do one thing first let me import binary operator s1 dot 2 uppercase dot concat of s2 dot 2 uppercase. So, that means both the input values I am converted into input strings into converted into uppercase after that I am made a concatenation finally, I am going to return. Now, these strings I am reading dynamically. So, I am taking here scanner object scanner scan equal to new scanner system dot in new scanner system dot in. Now, system dot out dot println now system dot out dot println enter enter first string enter 
first string string s1 equal to scan dot next string s1 equal to scan dot next system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln enter second string enter second string now here i am writing like a string string s2 equal to scan dot scan dot next string s2 equal to scan dot next let me take only next here and as well as let me take here next now finally what i am doing string string result equal to i am calling the method like bo dot apply what are these s1 comma s1 comma s2 now clearly observe i am reading the two values like ram and another one value like what here nit and those values ram and nit i place into where s1 and s2 and after that we are we are sending s1 s2 to what here these uh, string s1 and s2 now you can take let me to avoiding the confusion let me take s double one here also s double one s double two yes now whatever the values we are reading from the keyboard those values are placed into s double one and s double two and those values we are sending to what here this apply method then what happen first a small string will replace it with the capital capital string both s1 and s2 converted into capital string after that we done concatenation finally it will returns what here a result that result i am going to print here result result now let me execute the program let me execute the program now enter some string ram and enter second string nit then it will become what here ram nit now if you enter like what here core java like core and the one is java then core java so first we are sending the data in the form of lower case later we convert it into upper case later concatenating later finally we got now observe here binary operator always works on same input to type and same output to type so s1 dot to upper case so for avoiding the confusion let me write like a string ss equal to and return ss return ss very simple observe here ss ss is what type string type and my inputs are what here string type so if you working with the by function the inputs may be different type and output is may be different but if it comes to the binary operator it will perform operation on two same type of operands and giving same operand as a output or result that is doing by what here binary operator i hope you understand the usage of the binary operator for more videos please subscribe narayan city channel thank you